Today's exercise is called the claw stretch. Now this one's going to be a little bit different as I'm going to have Jeanette talk you through it as she does it as well because she has arthritis in her hands so she can't do the full range of motion in both hands. What you normally do is hold your hands with your palm facing towards you for the purpose of this Jeanette is going to have the palms facing the camera like so. Now you slowly bend your fingertips down until they touch the base of each finger joint and your hand will begin to look like a claw. If you've ever got any marble fans here, or sorry, Marvel fans, you might find that this like doing a Wolverine hand. Now if you look at Jeanette's hand, you can see that the fingers are slightly bent on top, but I'd normally try and keep your fingers completely straight with your knuckles tensed. Right, now as you can see, I've got my fingers don't quite touch the edges there, that's because I've got arthritis in my hands. So what I'm doing, I'm just doing a stretch as much as I can, okay? So what I'm going to do, as you can see with my right hand, it's even worse because of the arthritis. But if you carry on doing the exercise, you will gradually get more motion in that hand and that finger will start to get better. It's got a lot better over the last few weeks while I've been practicing this exercise. So really, you owe it to yourselves to do this exercise at least on a daily basis. If you've got osteo or rheumatoid arthritis in the hands, this is one of the better exercises to regain the flexibility. Yeah. When you're doing this, you're trying to hold the position for 30 to 60 seconds. I know we've been talking through this, but when you're doing this, if you can do it two, three times a day while you're doing other things, what you find is it increases the range of motion. It will help reduce the amount of pain you have. And it actually helps increase your dexterity. So I know a lot of people have said that they struggle to hold a pen after they've had arthritis in the hands. I do. This is one of the exercises that will help you be able to hold a pen again. You can just do it while you're watching the TV. You can do it while you're waiting for the vegetables to boil in the pan. It's just such an easy exercise to do. Yeah, and the final thing that we're going to say about this stretch is that Jeanette is right-handed and as you can see, the right hand has been more affected by the arthritis. You used to work as a typist, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so whilst she was doing a lot of typing, if you've got anyone who does computer work or typewriter work or even holds a pen a lot, you'll find that they develop things like, like carpal tunnel, which help degrade the cartilage between the joints in the hands. Now, this is one of the exercises that, again, if you've got carpal tunnel or someone you know works in an office all day, show them how to do this and they will begin to thank you because it might help prevent their arthritis from developing in future. And if you have rheumatoid arthritis, which is an awful disease, this is one of the easiest ways to try and prevent it from further progressing and maintain as much mobility in your hands as possible. Anyway, that has been a claw stretch. Thank you.